Hey, South Haven, I'm Jacob Duke here with your Charger Nation News. The book club will meet Tuesday, November 11th in Miss Linda Johnson's room in B107. They'll be reading Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. Your last date about autism t-shirts is today. You can see Miss Sparks in room B213 to order. Cheerleaders are selling I Believe t-shirts for all graduating classes. Short sleeves are $12 and long sleeve are $16. You can see any SHS cheerleader to order by October 27th. FCS and Student Council are kicking off the 2014 Operation Christmas Child at SHS. Please join us in packaging a shoebox for children in need around the world. You can help in two ways, by packaging a shoebox or bringing some supplies on the supply list. You can pick up this list from Ms. Hatch on A Hall, Professor Smith on B Hall, or Ms. McMahon on C Hall. SIS is hosting Race for a Reason, a 5K run, walk, and kids dash. It will take place on November 8th at SIS at 9 a.m. All the proceeds will go to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. You can register online at racesonline.com, stop by the school, or mail a check payable to SIS. This has been your Charger Nation News. I'm Jacob Duke, and we're out. I'm Bethany, here with your quote of the day. I like long walks, especially when they are taken by people who annoy me. By Fred Allen. The word of the day is recalcitrant, defiant, unapologetic. Aaliyah, do you work now? No. What? No. Okay, I guess I'll just call the principal. I don't care. I need a principal to run B201. Hey, South Haven, I'm Jacob Duke here with your sports update. 2014 State Farm SHS Scholar Athletes for the month of September is John Tamolia and Maisie Cooper. John is a senior here at SHS. He has maintained a 4.0 GPA during the month of September while competing for our SHS football team. He recorded two sacks and several tackles in our 40-21 victory over Olive Branch. Maisie is a sophomore here at SHS. She was able to maintain a 3.5 GPA during the month of September while competing for the SHS cross country team. She recorded personal records in the Shelby Farms open meets as well as the personal best 20 minutes and 36 seconds in the Frank Horton Invitational Meet. The volleyball team ended their season with a bang as they beat Lake Cormorant in a 3 out of 5 win. Not only that, it was senior night. Good job girls and congrats to all the senior members for their many years of putting in hard work as a Lady Chargers volleyball player. Good luck in your future endeavors. Our boys pulled out a big 17-7 win against Suplo last Friday as they improved to 6-1 on the season. Tonight they'll travel into hostile territory as they head to Grenada to take on the 7-1 Grenada Chargers. Yeah, Chargers versus Chargers. This should be an interesting one. Tonight, let's show them who's the better Chargers. Go get them, guys. Our annual Meet the Chargers night for our boys and girls basketball teams is next Thursday, October 23rd, in the gym from 5 to 9. The scheduled events will include your SMS scrimmage from 5 to 7, the introduction of your varsity girls in scrimmage from 7 to 8, the dunk contest featuring Terrence Davis and a special dunker from 8 to 8.30, and the introducing and scrimmage of your varsity boys from 9 to 9.45. Good luck to our SHS swim team as they compete in the North Half competition tomorrow. This has been your sports update. I'm Jacob Duke, CNTV Sports. What is your deepest fear? Heights. Being unsuccessful. Uh, spiders. Probably drowning. My worst fear is roller coasters. I don't like spiders. <laughs> Not waking up from my sleep. Frogs. <laughs> my worst fear is heights. <laughs> Um, heights and vacuums. Uh, clowns. Going onto bridges. Um, death. My worst fear is not making it in life, not being successful. That's my fear. Not graduating. Spiders. My worst fear is losing my boyfriend, you know.